My first gout attack occurred approximately five years ago, and it occurred during the middle of the night, and it was to my right big toe, and it was excruciating. The only thing I can compare it to was in 1983, I was burned quite severely, over 20% of my body, and while the burn pain lasts for days and days, the gout attack only lasts a couple of days, but on a level of pain, the pain was about the same. It just hurt tremendously. It'll make you put your foot in a cardboard box when you get under the covers just to keep the sheets from touching your foot. It's quite severe. I knew exactly that this was gout coming on and I confirmed it with friends of mine that I knew had gout. So uh, it was not a surprise. It was a surprise that it was attacking me, but it was just like they described, just an excruciating pain. And there started in their right big toe for whatever reason. I had a second attack of gout and decided I better advise my primary care physician at the VA, which I did. During my primary care physician's diagnostic process that lasted almost a year, I had other gout attacks in which the attacks occurred in my Achilles tendon on my heel, my ankle, my wrist, and that's when she referred me to rheumatology and it was pretty evident then that I was having gout attacks. Being a Southerner, I love pure and rich foods, red meats, ribs, but I've also learned to cut back in an attempt to control my weight and exercise, and along with my medication, we've got my gout under control. My gout did not really show its face until we started treating my hypertension and I was extremely overweight. Then I've lost probably 27 pounds in the last five years trying to get back to a more normal weight. But hypertension and lack of exercise has been a factor in my gout. Since my positive diagnosis of gout, my life has changed dramatically in as much as I'm extremely conscious of what I eat, my exercise routine, my attempt to lose weight, and cutting back on alcohol consumption, it's all good. So, I, you know, while gout is really a painful disease and it commits me to a lifetime of allopurinol, it has improved my life, I think. Resources were recently introduced to me by Dr. Teague and it's goudeducation.org and it is, a, it is a website that is full of information. If you can't learn it on goudeducation.org, <laughs> it doesn't exist, I don't think. I would share with other patients that it's not always shellfish or one particular food, or perhaps a, a three beers instead of one that will trigger your gout. It, it's a lifestyle. You have to change your lifestyle a little bit, but it's for the better. It'll make a healthier person out of you when you get your diet and exercise under control. Mm -hmm.